apparently this is so fresh that you can even see that there is looks like some sea worm still worming around look at that oh my god hey guys it's nick and helene and welcome back to our channel today we are feeling for some fresh and cheap seafood here in sydney so we're gonna take you along to one of our favorite places to eat seafood and that is the sydney, sydney fish, fish market, market. So Sydney Fish Market is a must-visit attraction here in Sydney. But just in case if you have allergy to seafood, don't worry, we're gonna get you covered because they actually have one of the best butcher here in Sydney. Now to get here is very simple. You can take the light rail from Central or you can pretty much walk from Darling Harbour or Piermont because it's just directly behind. Or you can, I guess, take an Uber or a cab or just drive like us because we're lazy. <laughs> and we are carrying a lot of gear anyway so anyway we'll show you guys so one pro tip as a local to visit sydney fish market is bring your own sauce trust me inside you have to buy your own sauce so today i'm bringing my sri racha sometimes i bring the chili or mayo or tartar sauce just bring your own sauce and if you're lucky you'll be joined by some of sydney's famous wildlife that probably likes to eat your fish and chips so Make sure to keep your food hidden at all times. I can smell the seafood, all the seafood. Mm, it's calling my name. And this is what I love about the Sydney fish market. Everything is so fresh because Next door to the fish market is the pier where the fisherman comes in every morning to drop off all their goods that they catch the night before or the few days before. It's absolutely fresh. Right now I'm looking at this oyster being shuffled fresh. Absolutely amazing. I can't wait to try this. This is amazing. Look at that. There's just so much oyster here. Oh my god, there's so much different selection. It's absolutely crazy. So inside the fish market, you've got all these different vendors, right? This place here is Peter's, one of our friend's name. You guys probably know who. Anyway, all this place around here, they offer you really fresh selection of seafood which you can buy and bring it back home if you want to cook it yourself or a lot of these places actually cook it on behalf of you. So they've got plenty of fried selection on the other side, so let's go check it out. They already decided that we're gonna order the Aburi scallop with cheese on top, yum! And also some oyster and some sashimi. That's first round. So Sydney Fish Market is very famous with the tourists, especially from China because they love fresh seafood. So there are a lot of tourists from China and they are flipping out $100 notes. Whereas for us, the locals, we are flipping out $10 notes. <laughs> so for first round, we got the Everest scallop, which is three for $12. We got salmon sashimi for eight dollars. It's about almost two hundred grams, and also hoo, 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 the half dozen of Tasmanian oyster. We got the aburi scallop with some mozzarella cheese melted on the side. Look at this. They got some fish roe there. You got this scallop. You got two pieces in it. Looks like some rice there some rice green there and then all the melted cheese on the side and a little bit of the teriyaki sauce i think oh my god it looks so good oh it smells amazing too all right let's try it mm. oh my god that is so sweet with the teriyaki sauce it's really nice and soft bouncy like a mattress it's so fresh you don't even taste that fishiness usually that you get from a seafood it's just perfect it's so good so why do i only get half dozen because this is not nick's thing it's Helmi's thing if i got uh, the full dozen i'm gonna eat them all so i'm just gonna get half dozen look at this Ooh. get some lemon Wow, it's so good. It tastes like the sea. And the meat is so fresh, so slimy. It's literally dissolved in your mouth. And with some lemon, oh, it's 
perfect. All right, now it's my turn to try the oyster. Now, as you probably know it, oyster is not really my thing because sometimes oyster can be really strong in flavor. So not for everyone. And for me, I like to eat it, but if it's really, really fresh and it's not briny at all, I love it. But apparently this is so fresh that you can even see that there is, looks like some sea worm still worming around. Look at that. <laughs> oh my God. I am just happy there is some lemon here for me to wash down the oyster. So I might try the one on the right. Score. There is no worm there. So I'm just gonna like, I'm gonna try to peel it first to make sure there's no worm underneath. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm safe. I'm safe, guys. So I'm safe. Definitely all good. All good there. Put some lemon now. Oh, nice. All right. <sighs> Here you go, guys. Let's try this. Mm. Wow. Damn. That is really good. It's actually a bit salty there because there's some, I think there's some sand there, but it's not as strong as what I thought it should be. Really soft, really soft. It just slides on your throat, but there is aftertaste though, so I feel like I need something to watch it down right after this. So, yep, otherwise it's a really good and fresh oyster. But if you don't know it as well, Japanese people actually do love eating oyster as well because apparently oyster is aphrodisiac. You know what I mean. Now we're up to the part where we try some of the best raw food here in this fish market, which is a salmon sashimi. I love this. This is one of my favorite because Japanese cuisine is my favorite. If you try salmon in Australia and you try salmon in Japan, you'll notice the differences. They're very different in their own way, but this is one of the best, I think. Mm. So cold, refreshing, really soft, and really, really fresh. Just love it. So good. So it's time for me to try the salmon sashimi, and look at Nick. Finish the whole thing except four pieces. Only four pieces? I'm gonna finish them all. Let's try this. Ooh. So some people eat it with wasabi and soy sauce. We like to eat it with just soy sauce or even just eat it straight. It's so good. Ooh. Oh my god. So inside the Sydney Fish Market building, there are plenty options for everyone. Of course, you got the seafood, you also got the yum cha, you got the Chinese restaurant, you got the coffee, the bakery, and outside there's Six Meat Market offer one of the best and premium meat right there. Good day to spend in Sydney having your seafood or non-seafood, just enjoying with your family and your friends. And of course, Sydney Fish Market have the live auction every single weekday. So you need to buy tickets because you have to join tour. Uh, we're gonna leave the description link here. Well, in case you don't like Peter's Seafood for some reason, well, there is my seafood store, Nicholas Seafood. Don't worry, I'll give you guys a discount. Just tell them. Nick sent you here, all good. Yeah, just one kick crab leg, maybe one of the lobster tail. What else, There's so much choices. By the way, we're getting it at Nicholas Seafood because obvious choice. One of the grilled octopus. I think they'll do for a round two, guys. All right, we're after our second round, the Sydney Fish Market tour here. Now we've just ordered from Nicholas Seafood because technically it's mine, right? But outside is an iconic area here where you can sit down and you've got a nice view where you can see all this boat docking down here. But it's also a place where we battle who gets to eat the best seafood here in Sydney Fish Market because there's a lot of seagulls here. There's a lot of pelicans. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of birds around here and they're aiming for my food. I gotta be careful here. We've got ourselves some lobster tail here. This is just uh, it's unseasoned here and it's just grilled. So we're gonna try that. Oh, look at that. So fresh, love this. It's so meaty too. Get out, oh nice. Hear that crack, all that meat coming off. It's just beautiful. Look at this. Mm. 
it's actually really crunchy and really juicy as well. There's a lot of meat, really tasty, it's very, very delicious. But this is what me and Helmi like to do. We want to add some shiracha sauce, so it's just... There we go. It's nice. I just dip it that into that shiracha sauce. Oh, it's gonna be really nice. Mm. Nothing like a good chili to add to your lobster tail. Absolutely beautiful. The king prawn with Singapore chili crab sauce. Look at that. Okay, taste the sauce first. Mm. It's actually sweet uh, chili sauce. It's not spicy at all. This is so good already. Let's break this. Mm. You know why Nick asked me to do this prawn? Because he's too lazy to peel it, that's why. So this is my part. Because it's messy, look at my hand. A few moments later. I finally got my prawn, look at that, with the sauce, oh my god. Mm -hmm. So good. I'm just gonna eat it like this. The meat is so fresh, so meaty, it's not overcooked at all and then with the sweet Singapore chili crab sauce, delicious, I really loved it. And with some Sri Racha, why not? Mm, yum. Next, we got the fried white bait. So usually um, my mom always cook this and with some you know tomato and chili sauce, smear it on top Ooh, and then eat it with white rice, the hot white rice. So delicious. This is like remind me of childhood. Thinly mm. battered, it's very crunchy and you can just eat it like this. It's really good for Oh my god, look at this. This is the king crab leg. I know Helmi was holding the king crab earlier, but you know, it's impossible for us to finish that king crab alone. So we're just gonna get one of the legs. That's a really long leg, and I can feel that there's so much meat underneath. It's a bit of a batter. Mm. So crunchy the batter. You know, the batter that you, they usually use for fish and chips, that's pretty much it. Oh my gosh, let's try this. Mm. It's so fresh, so juicy. Well, I wish there were more meat in this crab leg, but overall it's so good. And the batter, even though it's thicker than, say, you know, the white bait, is still very good. Hey, Jack, which table are we gonna hit today? Oh, you know, that table looks pretty good. Yeah, let's go, guys. Okay, let's fly. So right there is like the main building for the fish market, but all outside near the parking area, there are more stores here, here. And then on the other side, you've got Vic's Market. Look at that car park, so full. We're gonna check out Vic's Market now. So as I mentioned before, if you guys are allergic to seafood, don't worry because you can actually join me in Vic's Meat Market where you can buy the very fresh produce of meat, dry age, premium wagyu, whatever you need is right here. One of the best butcher in Sydney. So inside the fixed meat market, there are two sections. One is this one where you can buy the meat itself. So it's very cold, the aircon is like full on. And the other side is where you can buy the freshly cooked meat. So over there is the beef brisket. It's marinated and then they smoke it for 10 hours. Oh my God. Look at the juice, the tenderness, everything. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Remember my tip, come really early so you get the freshest stuff. Bring your sauce, if you have one, and bring your bottle of wine because it's cheaper. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoy it, punch the like button, subscribe because it's free. And we will see you guys next week for more food or travel adventure. See ya. Hi. Hi. Why are you hungry? Mm -hmm. He can smell like, ooh, so delicious and I'm hungry. <laughs>